what comes to your mind when you hear the name Belle Delphine? It may be her innocent face, a pink wig, and her pastel-colored clothes, or maybe the bizarre video where she says that a dead octopus is her best friend, or maybe the fact that she sold her bathwater, or maybe you already know that her online presence has become more and more strange as the years have gone by, from makeup tutorials to being accused of romanticizing Belle has always surprised her viewers for one reason or another. Believe it or not, Belle is only 21 years old. So how did her career start? Is her work really a choice or rather the only way she had to support herself? You are about to learn how Belle got to where she is now, so stick around if you want to know the tragic real life story of Belle Delphine. Mary Bell Kirshner was born in Cape Town, South Africa on October 23, 1999. When she was born, Bell had a dislocated hip that required her to undergo surgery to fix it. When Bell was nine years old, her parents got a divorce and she had to move to England with her mother. Bell has described her childhood as the perfect little chapter of her life. She was a great student, always at the top of her class in everything except for English. Growing up, she loved drawing, designing, and she was a huge Shane Dawson fan. But maybe her childhood was not as perfect as she remembers because Bell always had trouble fitting in and making conversation with the other kids. She even admitted that she used to willingly fall off her garden swing and injure herself to make her friends laugh. Sadly, playing the clown didn't make Belle an instant hit with the other kids, and she dropped out of school when she was only 14 years old because she suffered from online Around this time, Belle also started getting treated for depression. Having dropped out of school, she started making her own money at a very young age and she worked as a waitress and a barista. At only 15, Belle moved out of her mother's house into a shared home. At 17, she spent six months working as a babysitter, but after having a bad experience with the mother of the two kids, Belle decided she wouldn't babysit anymore. She knew she had to find another way to get money. At this point in her life, Belle has been sporadically posting pictures on social media, but it was not until 2016 that she realized she could make money from her online presence. That's when she adopted the name Belle Delphine and started a YouTube channel where she first posted a conventional makeup tutorial. Belle also started posting on Instagram regularly and dancing around on TikTok in her pink wig. In 2017, when she turned 18, Belle started using braces even though she didn't need them because she already had straight teeth. According to the YouTube channel CZ's World, she did it because she wanted to look younger and revitalize her Lolita image. And it's true because most of Belle's Instagram posts combined her innocent and young appearance with increasingly revealing outfits. Six months after her 18th birthday, Belle was already convinced that the only real way to make money was to be more adult online. As her Instagram pictures became her follower count increased. Belle also started posting pictures with her signature ahegao faces, which are facial expressions that Japanese cartoons do while they're pictured getting intimate. This led Instagram to ban her main and backup accounts, but that didn't slow Belle down. It just spurred her on. In 2018, Belle used her success to launch her Patreon where people paid between $1 and $2,500 a month to access exclusive content. Belle was building a gold mine out of her social media presence and things would only get better for her. 2019 was by far the craziest year for Belle. On June 14th, 2019, Belle uploaded her third video on her YouTube channel titled Meet My Best Friend. The video showed Belle doing manga sketches, but then it became weird when she introduced her friend who was actually a dead octopus with googly eyes. This left many people speechless and the mixture between cute, and slightly disturbing was mesmerizing for her audience. By summer 2019, Belle's Instagram already had 4.2 million followers. That year, on June 16th, Belle promised that if her picture reached 1 million likes, she would make a pub account. The post obviously reached more than 1 million likes, and Belle kept her promise. However, the content she posted there was not exactly what the viewers were expecting, and Belle made a bunch of videos with clickbait titles where she would actually not be doing anything provocative at all. Instead, she was playing with two stuffed cats, making an actual cream pie, and eating a picture of PewDiePie. After this, Instagram banned Belle's new profile, but she already came up with different ways to make money. On July 3rd, Belle went on Twitter to announce that people could now buy her bathwater. It all sold out in under eight hours. Belle's strange bathwater business made the news, and it also sparked a lot of response videos from people who would drink Belle's bathwater, cook with it, and even use it to vape. There were rumors that some of those people contracted herpes, but this turned out to be a lie. As a joke, YouTuber Ethan Klein suggested Belle to fart in a mason jar and sell it, and after that, Belle sent him a mystery box. In July 2019, he opened it in his podcast and discovered that it contained a jar with Belle's spit. On October 7th, Belle was in the news once again after claiming that she had been arrested for spray painting the car of a woman who had supposedly stolen her hamster. She uploaded some pictures and a mugshot that nobody can confirm to be true. By the end of the crazy 2019, Belle completely disappeared from social media. 
After shutting down the rumors that she was dead, Belle returned to YouTube in June 2020 with a music video where she rapped about her absence and her past controversies. Then she shared a picture of herself where she showed her injured arm and leg, and she explained that she had been badly hurt after jumping off a roof into a kid's paddling pool for a video. But that was not the only reason why Belle disappeared. She told Lad Bible that her previous address had been leaked on 4chan. People have found her home by locating her P.O. box and then searching for her house on Google Maps based on how her windows looked in the pictures. Belle said, I had people post photos of themselves outside my house at night with their middle finger up. She claimed she was glad she took a break, but she also admitted that she missed the internet. So she made her big comeback with another surprise for her fans and she announced that she would finally release her first graphic video on Christmas. In the Happy Hour podcast, Belle said that she wanted to finish the year in a crazy way and that she would make a video with her partner of three years. According to her, this time she would not be trolling, but actually making a video. And not only that, but she would also sell the used them afterwards. On January 12th, 2021, Belle became a trending topic after she tweeted four images under the caption, my perfect first date. The picture showed Belle looking all innocent and scared while being tied up and having to the man. The backlash she faced was enormous. People criticized her for romanticizing pretending to be a child while engaged in sexual acts. However, other people defended her and said, everyone's freaking out in this, but there's a difference between two partners consenting in role play versus actual After all the backlash, Belle posted a note on Twitter with a caption, I'm not sorry, here's why, winky face. There she explained that she wasn't promoting or philia because the pictures only showed two consenting adults. The next day, she posted more pictures with the same tone, where she's tied up again with her mouth covered and looking scared and even being held underwater. After seeing these pictures, many people wondered what Belle's parents would think about her content. Belle has addressed this question in the past, and the answer shows how estranged Belle's relationship with her parents is. Belle's father has always been absent from her life, and the few times that Belle has mentioned him in her interview, she had called him an when asked about her mom, Belle has said that she is completely sure that her mother would prefer her to do something else. But Belle could hardly be more successful than she is now, so she probably doesn't need to change her career at this point. A dead octopus, selling bathwater, controversial kinks. If anything, Belle sure knows how to keep her audience engaged with her content. And the truth is that she has really worked hard to build her career in every single online platform out there. When Belle's Instagram was shut down for sexual content, Belle said that she felt irrelevant and small and defeated. She clearly likes the attention, but there's something that she wants even more than fame and money stability and family. Belle has said that in the future, she will be a normal bourgeois mother, only with a secret past. Belle is a great strategist, and she knows how to use her looks, her brains, and her audience's wishes to get what she wants, however she wants it. Some people even think that what Belle does is some sort of performance. She makes a parody of the stereotype of a perfect gamer girl, and she uses it to make money. And it works, because Belle makes around 1.2 million a month. She is incredibly rich for her young age, and she has achieved everything on on her own. If Belle is a troll, she's a very successful one. What are your thoughts on Belle? Does her bizarre content weird you out? Let us know in the comments section down below.